Hi, Luke the Apostate here, and I'm going to try to translate from fundamentalist to English. Specifically, I'm going to try to translate the term literally. Now, when you or I say literally, we mean something like, if someone sarcastically says, yeah, right, the text, the literal, the words were, yeah, right, which seems to indicate agreement, but if we interpret it with tone, we understand that it means the negative. They're being sarcastic. So there's, there's, there's the nutshell. Literally means you don't interpret anything, and actual or real meaning is with interpretation, so you understand the intended meaning. So when a fundamentalist is in discussion with an atheist or an agnostic or a moderate Christian about some subject, usually a, a subject about the Bible, and the, the, let's say, atheist brings up a verse that would require, apparently, the fundamentalist to agree with something, or, um, or disagree with something, or have to resolve some sort of conflict, they will quote the text, and then the fundamentalist will say, well, that's not what the Bible literally says, which immediately causes a tremendous amount of confusion, because to the atheist, of course, that is what the Bible literally says says. Now, the, the fundamentalist is very often not trying to be disingenuous. They're not trying to fuzz boundaries and definitions, um, because in fundamentalist churches, having been one, in one, uh, having been a fundamentalist, the, the speech in those churches is something like, well, you know the Bible literally says this, and the Bible literally says that, but it's referring to a tradition of biblical interpretation called biblical literalism. Now the problem is that biblical literalism uh, doesn't like interpretation. It, it says, you know, you do as little interpretation as possible, or none if you can get away with it, and interpretation is just the knowledge of man and it's interfering with, you know, the real understanding of the Word of God. And say what you will about that, uh, that style of interpretation, that's that's sort of where they're coming from. It's, it's related to the idea of biblical inerrancy, where they say, um, you know, Noah's Ark, actually the flood actually happened because it's in the Bible and the Bible is inerrant. Biblical literalism is, is close to that camp. Um, but the fundamentalist very often isn't really aware that this is a term of jargon. Uh, they've just heard their pastor, they've heard their elders, they've heard their other fundamentalist Christians use the word literally to describe what the Bible says, whether or not they're quoting the text or referring to their interpretive style. So it's not really productive to try to go, ah, you said literally, but the literal text says this, or oh, well, you're just doing an interpretation, because that will, if someone is a particularly strong biblical literalist, if you say they've made an interpretation of the text, they will get very upset, because, of course, one of the prime tenets of biblical literalism is that um, interpretation is bad, <clears throat> despite being an interpretive style. It's not a particularly robust method of thought, but, but that's where they're coming from. They're not trying to lie, they're not trying to muddy the waters, and they probably the best thing to do when you're speaking to a fundamentalist, and they say, that's not what the Bible literally says, is to, you know, accept that what they mean is my style of interpretation, my history of how my church reads the text disagrees with that. And of course, it'll be incredibly frustrating to have to wade through this jargon, um, move on to your next point, uh, try, try to find a better reason to, to discuss things, ask them how they know what they know, you know, all the, all the standard sort of skeptic ideas. Uh, but don't get frustrated with a fundamentalist just because they say literally in a way that makes no sense, because they're using a term of jargon, and if whatever your profession, you got some jargon too, and sometimes you'll use it by accident or without thinking of it, and no, nobody harshes your buzz because of it. Um, so you know, try to try to dial down the indignation, try to distance yourself from the frustration. Um, and fundamentalists say literally, and they mean it honestly, they just mean something very different than what the rest of the world does when they say it. 
that's a little over three minutes, but thank you for listening. This has been Luke the Apostate.